What's up? I'm Vanessa and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to, yes, another grocery haul. <laughs> if you guys are not new to my channel, then you know that just a couple days ago I did post a grocery haul, but I needed these things. These are literally the only items I went into Walmart for you guys and I spent $131. But I also warned you at the beginning of the season that tis the season for me to blow my budget and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss all the random hauls. Welcome to a random haul. <laughs> if you guys are new to my channel, hey, I'm Vanessa, what's up? We are a blended family of six. We spend about $1,000 a month on groceries, you guys, and about half of that, if I'm honest, goes to Costco. <laughs> hey, Costco, shout out, sponsor me. And every other week usually is dispersed between Walmart or my local grocery store here in New Brunswick, which is Superstore. So that about sums up my grocery budget. Now, as far as the budget, it has blown completely out of the water and I'm okay with that. I kind of budget for that anyway in December, knowing that there's gonna be lots of extra holiday treats and especially right now with COVID, you guys, I'm not saying food is comfort, but food is comfort today, okay? That's just where we're at. So if you're with me, leave a comment down below. Uh, anyway, you guys, I actually just filmed the haul and I am now picking my daughter up at school. So what you're about to see is about 25 minutes ago when I showed you guys all the goodies I got from Walmart. All right, so I'm gonna start at this end. We're gonna go as quick as we can because I'm actually on my way to pick up my daughter from school. But I really wanted to show you guys this. Like I said, it was not a planned haul. I just kind of went to the store, things were on sale and I just went with my emotions. <laughs> so first up, I was actually in line and the Powerades were on for a dollar each. So I went ahead and grabbed one each for the kids. Hopefully it's not an argument. Maybe I should have got four of the same color. <laughs> uh, I also grabbed a big diet ginger ale, the Canada Dry. Now you guys know I usually buy the minis, but I don't know. I just can't keep up with the minis lately because I've seen be drinking a little bit more and it's the holidays so I'm treating myself to a big case of that. Grab some great value sour cream and onion rings again. You guys have told me that you can't find them where you are. I'm sad because they're so so good and they're so cheap and you guys know the prices are always down here as per usual. We skipped one. <laughs> um, I really wanted the Stoke coffee but they didn't have it. I've never had the blonde roast. I've only had the medium so let me know down below if you guys have tried the iced coffee from Starbucks. The blonde roast so I haven't been making it lately myself and I'm I'm really craving an iced coffee and I'm too lazy to make a pot if I'm honest. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that and leave a comment down below, like I said, if you guys have tried it. I went ahead and grabbed some of these Rippled. We really liked these last time. I wasn't sure because not all Great Value chips are good, but these ones are really, really good. Uh, you guys know we like the caramel popcorn from Great Value, so I was really excited to see it. And I was like, oh yeah, right, we like those. So I grabbed two and then i saw this one and i got super psyched so you know you can get the giant bag at costco not the great value brand obviously but the big chicago mix with cheddar cheese and caramel popcorn so grabbed that because we're gonna be doing lots of boards and stuff and i can put a big bowl of this on there and the kids will like that also grabbed Mott's fruit stations and veggies these are the only ones that my stepson jacoby really likes is ones with carrot in them and they're hard to find and i'm so out of breath you guys it's because i'm trying to hurry up somebody commented on my last grocery haul and said it's the adrenaline you're probably right i get really amped up for these <laughs> uh mixed berry carrots so i'm sure he'll like those when i pack his lunch tomorrow uh we went ahead you guys hear jerry in the back that's hilarious okay <laughs> uh these as okay so i did not plan this but it was as i walked in it was two two for eight or two for i don't remember i'll leave it here but they were a good price so i went ahead and grabbed some because i had bought some of these swiss cheese crackers on my last grocery haul yeah they're almost gone because they're the kids favorite so i grabbed two of the swiss cheese and two of the cheese sandwich crackers if i'm honest these are my favorites so that's pretty much the reason I bought that. This was impulse too, as I was walking out. This was on sale and we are totally, totally out. So plus, I mean, look at the cute little Christmas sweater. Okay. And last night, Jamie said, do we have any Vachon cakes? Vachon cakes. And normally if we do, I hide them because, hey, stop. <laughs> Mom's no fun. Uh, I hide them because he's a night eater and he'll eat six and he doesn't want to eat six. He gets sick. So I try to ration it a little bit, but I went ahead and got these because they're usually two for six. So I grabbed two of the half moon because everybody really likes those ones. They're good for sending in the kids lunches too. And they're really good if you put them in the freezer. Mm, really good. Uh, these all caramel ones, if you guys have never had them, you are missing out. Vanilla cake, cream and caramel in a, in a chocolate coating. So I grabbed one of those. And these are the passion flakies. They're like puff pastry with a cream and like a raspberry apple filling. Oh, that's my childhood. This right here, 
So I will hide probably two boxes of these or hide all of them and when he wants when he tells me. I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's what we do. Uh, grab some tomatoes. Honestly, they were the nicest ones I could find. I wasn't overly impressed, but we're having tacos tonight and I like them for sandwiches. So grab those because we only have one left from that four that I just bought in my grocery haul. This is why I had to grab a few extra things. Uh, I didn't get apples on that one, I don't think. And if I did, they're gone, which isn't bad. The kids are eating them, so I'm happy about that. So I grabbed this one. I don't usually buy Honeycrisp, but it's all they had. And I know Jamie really likes a firmer apple, so I think he'll actually enjoy eating those. And he eats his apples with salt. Does anybody else do that? You take a bite and you shake salt on it and you take a bite like you. But tell me if you do, leave a comment down below. Uh, I grabbed this celery. It looked a little questionable, but... Hey. Are you guys done? Thank you. Stop. Yeah, okay. It's always, always. <laughs> anyway, it looked questionable, but I'll just peel that layer back and I'm sure she's beautiful on the inside, just like all of us, right? We're all uh, bruised lettuce. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um, these were super on sale too, which is why I got them. They were on for $2.97 each. So, I mean, that's almost half price. So a lot of baking going on. So I grabbed some with salt and some without. I just varies. I usually cook with salted butter and bake with unsalted so I can control the salt content in my baking. Um, I had grabbed two things of meat on the other one. I'm already down two, I'm telling you. We just have a full house. We're here for lunches a lot because some of the kids are virtual learning. So we're going through food quicker than usual. And I know that I like this. Is it Pillars or Pilers? Black Forest Ham, it's super good. Actually, I like it better than the other brand I buy. So another reason I like Walmart a little bit better. All right, we're getting into the goodies. We're getting into the goodies. <laughs> this one I'm really excited about. And I just I actually was like a little kid telling Jamie about it. So these are like jujubes, but they're Christmas trees. And it's Ganong, which is a factory here in New Brunswick. Candy chocolate factory. Anyway, it's this, if anything here, is my childhood, it's this, in my grandparents' house, right? Like, you know, there was always a candy dish there with uh, either they were rolled up candies, like the rum candies, and they were chewy toffee with chocolate in the middle. My mom would always stock them up from the bulk barn, and they would always have something like this at Christmas, or the bells, so, so, so good, so. That's very nostalgic for me. Um, this one, if you remember a couple of grocery hauls ago, I wasn't able to get peppermint candy canes. I only got cherry, so I'm really excited to have these. The kids are gonna like them. I mean, they love the cherry, but they love they like candy canes. And you know, peppermint is pretty traditional. That's what we like. Uh, grabbed my premier protein. I did run out. I had mentioned that before, that I had a feeling I would run out before my Costco run, because I typically buy this at Costco. It was actually physically painful to pay for this at Walmart today, but I was not going into Costco for one thing. I'm just not. So this was like $11, whereas at Costco, it's what, 37, but I get way, way more. So, but this will do me till Friday. When I do my huge Costco haul, make sure you're subscribed because that's going to be, I don't know, I've guesstimated about $1,000 right now. I'm sad about that, but that's what it's going to be. Uh, this was Impulse, walking out again, going to the cash. I remember last year, the year before, we waited too long to get a bag of these and we could not find them anywhere. So these these will just get put out on my mantle, probably out there. If you haven't seen my decorate with me, check it out. But I always have candy out. I always have nuts and goodies. And it's just, that's Christmas to me is food. I mean, that's what my channel is pretty much about, you guys. Uh, this one was impulse, well, kind of, but not. I was gonna get the kids a treat and I figured this was the best one. It has a little bit of everything in it. It's got Laffy Taffy, Sweet Tarts, Nerds, and Runts. And there's 42 little packs of them in there. So the kids can have a few of those as a treat tonight with one of their Power Raids that I got them. And that'll be a good little treat without running to the store. And last but not least, something that we all need, disinfectant spray Lysol. This was just on an outer aisle and I was like, yep, we need to disinfect. <laughs> but guys, this is everything that I got. I spent about $131, which you're thinking is actually pretty good for you, Vanessa. Yes, except I just did groceries three days ago, so not, but good enough. It's fine because it's some things that we wanted. Again, I'm all about the comfort right now. I don't know what to tell you. So I hope you enjoyed my haul, you guys. If you're not subscribed, please take a second and click subscribe. It really helps out my channel. And make sure you are have the notifications turned on so that you're notified because I'm doing Vlogmas. Even if it's a little bit sporadic right now, I plan on trying to put out as much as I can. So I'm shaking. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss them. Right, MJ?